In this video, we're going to answer a question that we've been asked a lot about Thrive Architect, which is what happens if I use Thrive Architect to create my blog content and then at some point later, I deactivate the plugin. Will my content be preserved? Will it be lost? Am I locked into using Thrive Architect forever? Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes. And actually that was only one of the questions we're going to answer in this video. To be precise, there are four questions that are all related to this topic of content lock-in or content preservation. And so we're gonna go through these in rapid succession in this video. The first one is, what happens if I write blog posts with Thrive Architect and I delete or deactivate the plugin at some point later? The second is, how does how Thrive Architect handles this compared to competing plugins? The third is, what happens if I have content that I created in the normal WordPress editor, like old content, can I edit it with Thrive Architect? And the fourth question is, what happens with landing pages that I create with Thrive Architect when I deactivate the plugin? So let's get started right away. Here is an example page where I've built content using Thrive Architect. Now, as you can imagine, just having you know the headings and paragraphs, the default stuff, that's pretty easy to keep when the plugin is deactivated. So I made this a bit more challenging and I added, for example, this content in columns. That's something that the default WordPress editor doesn't support. We've got an image with a caption here. Then we've got some styled or formatted text. We've got an unordered list. We've got a styled list. And also we have two types of larger text and I just want to briefly explain the difference. This is inline, so I selected the text and made it larger. Whereas this is not inline, this is on the text block. Okay, so the whole text block is has a larger font size. This is important, as we'll see, there's a difference afterwards. Then we have a content box with some text inside it. Note that the text is white, and so without the blue background, it wouldn't be visible anymore. Then we have a button with a link. We have a divider. We have a text that just tells us, you know, above this is the divider. And then we have a special element that I also just as an extra challenge wanted to throw in there, a testimonial. All right, so this is the page. And in fact, this is what it looks like. This is what our whole content looks like with Thrive Architect active. Now I have deactivated the Thrive Architect plugin and reloaded this page. And this is what we see. So first of all, you can see the content is still there. And obviously, you know, a heading and a paragraph is still there. Now, for some of the more interesting stuff, the columns, because WordPress doesn't support columns by default, they basically just become normal blocks of text one after the other. The image and the caption is still there. The styled text is also still there. Both the list and the styled list become normal lists. The paragraph that was resized in line, the text that was resized in line, that stays larger. And the same for, you know, the, the text was made red in line, that stays red. The paragraph that was made larger on the block level returns to normal. The text inside a box, the blue box disappears. That's again, just WordPress doesn't do anything like that, right? So the blue box disappears, but we set the white color on the box level, not in line. So if I had selected the text and made it white, then it would be white and invisible here. But because I set on the block level, I made the text white, that reverts as well and the text remains readable. Here, what I think is very important, the button, again, something that doesn't exist in WordPress, has turned into a link. So the link is still there. The button text is also still there. The divider disappears and the testimonial, even the testimonial remains and it kind of still looks like a testimonial, right? More or less. But I think the important thing, this is what you can see is like all the content you create and all your text and image content, every kind of content that the WordPress editor can support, which is basically just text and images, stays. Right? And it even retains some of your styling. So basically, you're not, you don't have to be afraid of using Thrive Architect to create your content in case you can so at some point you know, not use it anymore or want to deactivate it. All of your text and image content will be preserved. So this leads us to question number two. How does this compare to the competition? So let's have a look at how this same kind of thing works with the most popular other visual editors for WordPress. So here's the same, I tried to build the same page using other plugins. So this is Visual Composer, same kind of layout. We had some issues, the image turned out really small, but for the test, that's still fine. Um, and I could basically do almost all the same things. We have a button with a link. 
they didn't have any testimonials, so I just used, used another special element, right, just as a general test of what happens with a special element like this. I also couldn't find a way to make a paragraph text larger in Visual Composer, so I couldn't do that. Uh, there was also no styled list, so I couldn't test that, but all the other elements are there. So here, the same test, let's deactivate the plugin and reload the page. And this is what we get. So in Visual Composer, you can see it uses short codes. And for the like standard content, it's not that bad, right? At first, it's like, okay, there's some short codes here, you can get rid of that. But as we can see, if we scroll down, especially down here, so the columns become a mess. And then down here, this is just a total mess. So the button and all this kind of stuff, just the box, everything becomes a total mess, right? Because every element that isn't a normal WordPress element is wrapped in often multiple short codes like this. And, and so this is a real problem. The link also totally disappears. And this is why we don't use short codes, basically. So this is, this is messy um, in many ways, and it locks you into using this editor. So that is Visual Composer. Next up, Elementor. Elementor is another visual editor here, the same layout. As a note, I didn't change anything about the styling here. So Elementor by default changes the color and fonts and things of the text. So I didn't do anything here to change that. That's Everything is just default as it comes out of the plugin. We have the image, we have styled text. Also, I couldn't, oh no, there's a styled list here. There we go. There's a larger paragraph, there's a button, there's a box. So in Elementor, I could make everything on my test page. And again, I just found some special uh, element, some kind of an icon element here. This is what our content looks like. Let's deactivate and reload. So as we can see, the styles have reverted to the normal theme styles, but text in columns remains the same, just again, one after the other, basically. The image remains, our styling remains. Um, the styled list is also preserved. The larger text shrinks down to a normal size. The button link remains. I think that's very important. We have the text. Uh, the blue box, of, of course, disappears, and the special element text also remains. So this, I think, also does a very good job of preserving content. Next up is DV and the DV Builder. I'm, I'm loading this on the DV theme as well, just so that it doesn't have any disadvantages. And we have most of the same layout. We have our headings, we have our columns, image, couldn't figure out how to put a caption on the image. Uh, we have some styled text. I couldn't find a styled list or an icon list. We could make the text larger, there's a button, there's a testimonial, which is my special element, and then there's also some text inside a box. All right, let's deactivate and reload. And here we go, reloaded. So this is both the theme and the plugin deactivated. And basically the same as in Visual Composer. We've got a lot of short codes, and then the further down we get, the worse it gets, right? Because basically the more special elements and layouts we use, the messier it gets. And really the content itself becomes unrecognizable in all of the shortcode mess. But the, the very basic text and styling is preserved, right? Um, but even the image disappears, for example. So here, yeah, this is really no significant content preservation here. Next up, Beaver Builder. So with Beaver Builder, I could build most of this layout. Again, we have the columns, the image. What I couldn't do is I couldn't make the text red or large because there was a bug where the drop downs wouldn't open. I couldn't find a styled list. I found some icons though, I added those. I found a testimonial element as a special element. We've got a button with a link and we've got some text inside a blue box. So let's deactivate and reload. All right, here we go. As you can see, it changes the margins, the, the, the layout changes a bit. We have the column content is still there, the image is there. We've got our list. We have got the text in the box. We've got a preserved link. We've got text from the special element. The icons just disappear. So again, this does a very good job, I think, of preserving content. And then the final candidate, I wanted to cover all of the most popular builders out there. This is the cornerstone builder that comes with the X theme. So here again, most, well, some of the layout I could build, I couldn't put a caption here. I couldn't make text larger. There was no styled list. And so, but we have the blue box, we have a button, we have a special element. This is what we have. So once again, let's deactivate and reload. And here we go. This is another example of short codes, also a pretty serious short code mess here. So even something as simple as two columns, total mess, um, general text or everything that's basic text is preserved, everything else goes away. Um, 
the text in the in the box remain, retains its color for some reason in the shortcode mess. But yeah, there's no link. It basically it's unusable. All right, so those are the top competitors to Thrive Architect. And I hope that was a fair and objective comparison of content preservation features. So the next question is, what happens with my old content that I created in the normal WordPress editor? Can I edit it with Thrive Architect? Here's what that looks like. This is a post where I created all of this content you see here in the normal WordPress editor. And in Thrive Architect, it just goes into a single WordPress content container. So what you can do is you can edit this content and it just opens up the WordPress editor where you can make changes and you can place anything you want above and below this container. What you can also do is you can copy paste, right? So you can select this text and paste it into um, architect elements. So that's basically what happens, right? This doesn't get taken apart into individual elements to preserve all the short codes and everything you might be using. It just goes into a single WordPress content block. And then the final question is, what if you've created landing pages using Thrive Architect and you deactivate the plugin? So here's an example of a landing page. And remember this completely overrides everything in your theme. So it just goes over the top of everything, creates a totally separate page. And here's what it looks like if we reload it after deactivating Thrive Architect. So even this content here is preserved with the images and text and links. So most landing pages will look totally different. They won't look like landing pages anymore. And you know, I wouldn't call this functional. But again, you know, in an emergency, if for some reason this plugin stops working, or you have to delete it or whatever, your, your basic links and things on your pages will still work. All right, so those are some of the top questions. And maybe if you're wondering, well, what about content that I made with the old Thrive Content Builder? Can I edit that with Thrive Architect? The answer is very simple. Yes, you can. Thrive Architect is backwards compatible. So. These questions I mined from all of the questions and comments we've gotten recently, and I hope this answers some of your concerns. And if you have any other questions, of course, we're always open to hearing more. I hope you liked this preview of Thrive Architect. And like I said, if you have any other questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.